Hello, I am back again for my minimum weekly upload. I've been struggling a little bit with uh, sleep and today I've got this headache that's just been with me ever since I woke up. But it is going to take more than that to stop me from uploading mediocre commentary videos. I think everyone should have a bucket list. Just write down everything you can think of that you want to do or experience. I recently watched an anime called ZOM 100, and the plot behind the show is the main character named uh, Tendo, who is stuck in a grueling writer studio that is literally working him to death, wakes up one day and faces a zombie apocalypse. And instead of being appalled or terrified, he is ecstatic because he no longer has to go to work. Eventually, he gets bored of his vacation and decides to apply himself to something. That being a bucket list of things he wants to do before he dies or becomes a zombie. By the way, I recommend watching the show. The writing and the dynamic between the characters is just really refreshing. Especially the dynamic between the main character and his best friend. They're like soul-bound friends who do basically everything together, and it's, it's just super charming. The show had me thinking I should also create a bucket list, and I think everyone should too. It doesn't matter what you put on it, really. You know, don't constrain yourself to being realistic, because that would just be boring. Think big about it. If you want to visit outer space, write it down. If you want to wrestle a shark while falling out of an airplane, write it down. It doesn't have to be outrageous. Like, it could be something as simple as visiting a new place, trying a new food, or picking up a hobby. But I feel like is sprinkling some absurdity in there for, you know, just a little bit of flavor. It's a pretty solid move. I think it'll help change one's outlook on life, didn't Not just get lost. Drifting through life without ever really having the motivation to amount to something or be fulfilled. All around me, I see so many people who hate where they are in life. They hate their job, they hate their bad habits, they hate their physical appearance, and they hate the circumstances that they ended up in, which, more often than not, they cause themselves, knowingly or not. And yet, all they do is complain and talk about how they want to change. Sometimes they even go as far as making a plan, but they never act on it. It's like they want to change, but they don't want it enough to actually put in the work. They always end up talking themselves out of it or saying they'll get to it later and just procrastinating until they forget about it. It, it just it blows my mind to see people put themselves through suffering from their desires only to do absolutely nothing about about it but make themselves more miserable. I've never been that miserable with myself, thankfully, but I have found myself stagnant before. I am 21 years old, and I don't really have much of a life to speak for. To be fair, you know, I'm still fairly young, as some people would say, but you know, that's, that's subjective. There are people who are far younger who have done far greater things, and I know you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people, because all you're really going to do is just drag yourself down, but sometimes you just can't help it. But you know, I am working to change that for myself. I'm finally moving out of my parents' house in a little bit more than a month from now. I've made a commitment to uploading YouTube videos with the hope of one day being able to sustain myself off of the creating the content that I enjoy to make. And I'm leaping for a career change right now because working as a go-kart mechanic only pays well during race weekends and Realistically, I am going to have some very adverse health effects if I keep exposing myself to the chemicals I use on a regular basis for my job. Right now, I'm taking some IC, IT certification courses so I can hopefully get a hardware repair job or some sort of computer-related work. And, you know, I suppose after all that yapping, I should share some of my own bucket list, maybe to give some inspiration or motivation for you to create your own. So, one, act in a professionally produced movie as the main character. Two, become a voice actor. Three, go on tour in a band. Four, 
have a positive impact on the people around me. Five, write a script and produce a short film. Six, produce a full album of music that I like. Seven, learn how to drift. Eight, win a natural bodybuilding competition. Nine, this one's a little sprinkle of absurdity, but I'm not gonna completely rule it out of the realm of possibility, but uh, set foot on another planet. And number 10, the one I'm working towards now, I'm pretty excited about, experience a happy and committed relationship. Obviously, you should add to it periodically, because, you know, as time goes on, you'll hopefully complete some things and maybe come up with new ideas that you want to do. And there's, there's no need to try and come up with all of it at once. There's no point in putting that kind of pressure on you. So. I want to see what you all can come up with, too, so go ahead and put some ideas in the comment section if you want. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and maybe share it if you feel so inclined, if you're willing to go that far. And uh, leave a comment if you got something to say. Thank you, and have an incredible day.